Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here. Current time, a few minutes shy of 8 a.m. I am beginning today's adventure at this Starbucks. Uh, my caramel brulee, I believe it is called, here in this holiday cup. This was an old bank? No, it was an old daily news. I'm not really sure why I said bank, but old daily news. Old Town Orange, I refer to it as the Orange Circle. Some call it the Orange Plaza. I am just gonna meander around some of the blocks, enjoy a piping warm caffeinated beverage. Oh yeah, that's good. Filed this under relaxing video of the day as I just traverse the streets of Orange, California. Meander around and there's already a, a beehive of activity over there those who are doing a little landscaping, a little cleaning of where the fountain is. You can see, see how it's all set up. The traffic is going around the loop here and they still, based on regulations, have it set up where outdoor dining is very prominent and a thing. The signage all placed. Right here. You see it's very mellow this early. I like it. Nice. Let's take a stroll. I'm inviting you to join me. I figured because, you know, doing a lot of theme parks this month and, spoiler alert, next month going to Florida, Walt Disney World, will be very heavy on the Disney theme park content. I'm gonna end this year on a good note with a lot of theme park visits so just this is a more mellow kind of something to a little to change the taste of the palate if you will here here and just kind of enjoy the day I'm inviting you to join me shall you i always like to point this out it's a little difficult to see under the under the shadow there but you can see where it says owl cigars painted on the side of those bricks. Very quaint little area. In the evening times, it really, the pace picks up a little bit. You know, these streets could definitely be seen very prominently in that thing you do. When they first heard the song on the radio, they're running past this store here. And then they continue to a place called, sorry, place called Tiddlywinks now and that's where the hardware store well the appliance store was down that way on the other side of the fountain and all the workers there cleaning things up you see the fountain there and the coffee shop I just exited is over there on the far corner there used to be the same establishment right here in this Wells Fargo bank but they closed there were two Starbucks one at the Wells Fargo and one over there but a couple years ago they closed the second of that franchise. And as this guy leaps over that chain and runs towards my direction, you will see the fountain. That is not the original Orange County fountain. The other one, I'll walk a couple blocks. I've showed this before, but it's worth reiterating. It's pretty interesting how they have moved the fountain, the original fountains around. It's almost like a scavenger hunt of sorts. As I pass Watson's, which was also prominently used in a, no a number of feature films and commercials near the antique Coca-Cola signage. It states some of those that were used, established in 1899, and showing it down there in the Tom Hanks movie, as well as the, the bench warmers, I believe that's Schneider, talking to a lady out front. Oh, and then down here it said it was used in Gumball Rally, starring Burt Reynolds, among others. President Bush even stopped off one, stopped off here for a famous malt. Now that I did not know. If you listen closely, might be able to hear, as the traffic goes by, you might be able to hear the Orange County parrots up in the trees there. As the bus goes by, there's also a lot of historic homes. I'm gonna show a few around these parks that are very pleasing to the eye. And yeah, the parrots are hard to hear with the traffic going by. 
out front of this little convention center where bicycles, skateboards are prohibited is a signage that is a slightly incorrect based on what a gentleman who is a local told me a few months ago when I was pointing out, he had seen some of my videos, how I always stated that this was the original plaza fountain, which would have been at the circle now that was moved here. However, I was incorrect in my assumption. The original fountain is not this one, nor is it the one down the way. The original fountain is right over there. You can kind of see it peeking around the side of that building. Oh yeah, listen. Hear them? They're very faint, but they're... I don't think they're in those trees. You can kind of hear them. They've, they've slowed down on their squawking. This is... This is the original fountain that used to be in, in front. Oh, they're making noise again. Yeah, they're up there. Oh, there they go. You looking for parrots? Yeah. Have you been down to Hart Park? Hart Park, where they are? That's where they're on. That's they roost at Hart Park. Oh, okay, cool. I'll walk over there. Thank you. Okay. That guy just told me that they roost at Hart Park. I know at the circle you can hear them a lot. Yeah, they're up there. There goes there goes three of them. There it is. I would not have known this fact if someone would would not have told me. I would have just gone off that placard, which is incorrect because it states here on another information area. Right there. That's it, see? Do the comparison. Got to walk just about a block over, passing these very nice homes. Homes, not ho homes, homes. H-O-M-E-S. Always reminds me of South Pasadena, the architecture of some of the buildings. Very similar to South Pass around here, even though this is Orange County. I really enjoy the, the look of this brick one here on the corner of Center and Maple. And by shifting this way just a bit up on the corner past these hedges is a filming location from the movie Big Mama's House. And you guessed it, it is the house. It is the facade, the exterior seen in that movie. Right up here at the end of the sidewalk. There is a crow right there strutting its stuff there, going up, up, up. It's doing, getting a little snack there in the puddle. This is it. Out front, got the leaves. Sprinklers are on. Big Mama's house. I can see why they utilize this because it is is very impressive looking. And it was not only this home, but also a couple others around these parts. In fact, this one right across the way can be seen prominently on more than one occasion through the course of that film. So this one and this one. In that Martin Lawrence comedy. Camera, okay there, it's stabilizing it. It almost looked like it was shifted. Camera was confused for a moment. It is very beautiful through here. Oh, there's a, a dog there. Yeah, some of these homes are really, really amazing. I always thought it'd be neat to own a home down here. It'll probably never happen, but it's fun to think about. This almost reminds me of the architecture you'd see in you know, a salad, Southern Cal, not a salad California, Southern California fast food establishment. The original buildings of Taco Bell kind of resembled this. 
with the brickwork and the roof line for the cactus out front. I point this out because its neighbor is a home that has a lot of historical significance. This, this right here, it's been here for many, many years. Restored back to how it looked circa 1910, it's the Ainsworth Historical House. Lewis and Hersus Ainsworth resided here. Well, Lewis lived from 29, 1829 to 1914. Him and his wife chose the city of Orange as their home in 1901. They raised their three sons, Lewis, Frank, Mitt, and two daughters, Eva and Ina, right here in this very place. The restoration of this house was initiated by the town's Bicentennial Commission and Councilman Don Smith. It is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Pretty cool. I've always walked past this, but never stopped to read the info. Sometimes it's good to just slow down and take in the sights. It's good to have a, a peaceful day. A tree is very, very prevalent, blocking a pretty good portion of the view from the road. I just did a little quick research, very impromptu of other places that are on the National Registry here within a couple blocks, and there's one just up here about, you know, two streets or so. Oh, check that out. At the fire station, they have the, they got the hood up like that. That's pretty neat. on that clock is incorrect. Way off. Maybe it got struck by lightning and sent someone to a different time time frame. No, that would be 10.04. That's not 10.04 either. That's, okay, I'm very confused. Turned on to Palmyra. I believe that's how that is pronounced. There's a porta potty in that yard and right over here is the C.V. Culver house. Also getting a, as a gentleman with a leaf blower, they've done some mowing. This was placed on the National Register back in 86 and there should be a placard designating that. That's a nice garage right there adjacent to the homestead. Wow. The CZ, I might have mispronounced, the CZ Culver House. Very, very nice. Under the shroud of these rather large trees. Beautiful is an understatement. Yeah, that is nice. I always seem to find anyone that's doing yard maintenance of any, of it. If, if I'm, if it's any time in the early early time and I am filming there will be someone doing yard work that's just that's my lot in life okay this is interesting this former Baptist church which now is a restaurant says margaritas to go is also on the National Registry means it cannot be torn down I think that's the the rules but it can be converted into another establishment, so it's no longer a church. It's at 192 South Orange Street, built back in 1893. Yep, states so right there. July 11th, 97 is when it was placed on the do not change list. In fact, this entire area, this one square mile radius, known as the Plaza District, is on the National Registry as well. The entire Orange Circle. Back in 1981, it was a historic landmark, but it, until it was a year later when it became completely official. Nationwide. Established in 1886 is when the Plaza, also known as the Orange Circle, began. Whoa, I thought I was back in Florida for a moment. You know, I do go coast to coast pretty often. And these are, these are often seen lurking, these gators here. And they have, this is just some yard art decor. But they almost look pretty real. This one is referred to as the Parker House. And 
designated as one of the oldest in town, dating back to 1886, a Victorian style home. Even has the directional north, south, east, west rustic look right out front here. The beautiful butterfly and the plaque it can be seen from a distance. It's right there on the porch. That was a nice little archway, a little foliage archway. Leading in. Classic car alert. Well, classic cars, plural. Very nice neighborhood, even the post office has that small town feel. Wait. However, I don't think it's very Wait. nice that this crossing Wait. signal is asking how much I weigh. Even though this facade has been redone, its former entity signage has been placed back. You can see they have the plastic on the, the light bulbs there. They are redoing all of this. And this neon was taken down, but happy to report that the neon is back in all. It's the retro neon has returned, just as the rumor stated. Nice. It is very faint, but there were church bells down there that were ringing for a moment. And now they have stopped. There's also a bunch of birds. Yeah, look at all those. There's crows there in the yard. A Hitchcock would be a proud. You are not parrots. You're crows. That's going to do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe by doing so. It helps keep you in the loop and update on future uploads here on this channel. And if you enjoyed this very relaxed walk around some of the, the homes, you know, very historic houses around Orange, California, this neighborhood, and a, a very, ah, just a, a relaxing video, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know you care. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog. I, should, I need to do more of these. There's walk and talks on the downs, bringing it down. See you in the next video. The vlog.